I've been doing a lot of thinking. Me and Alex have talked about it a couple times. And since I'm starting this semester and I have a lot of things going on, and Alex has a lot of things going on, I think this week is going to be the last week that we make any videos for a while. I'm just not feeling like working out much. Like, I don't have that drive anymore, I guess. Kind of lost it. So, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. All jokes aside, we about to hit a workout. Uh, I'm not actually gonna quit this anytime soon. What drive did I lose? I didn't lose any drive. I was thinking about what I kind of wanted to do for this workout, because I'm gonna do chest and back. And I was thinking because Callum Von Mogar, Von Moger, Von Mogar, whatever you want to say, however you want to pronounce it, made a video a little while ago about old school, like, he, it was like old school chest workout or something like that. And I was thinking maybe new school chest workout, but I was like, how, how am I gonna do a new school type of workout like what is new school so then I started thinking well how about old school versus new school like what I don't know how to compare that so what I've decided this video dramatic dramatic pause I don't know I have no fuck I have no clue I have no clue what I'm gonna do the answer is we're gonna do a new school chest and back workout everything is gonna be machine or new new technology we're gonna use machines a lot lots of machines less dumbbells and barbells and we're gonna see how good the workout is and i'll let you know my honest opinion of a new school workout that's only machines and cords and cables and all that stuff we're gonna see how good it is and if it sucks i'm gonna be really disappointed but it's gonna be good i have faith i have faith i'm gonna make it good that's for sure let's start it workout I told you I'd give you my honest review on how I felt about the whole new school type workout which was just machine and rope based uh, and cables no like no barbell dumbbell that sort of thing which I feel like it's all necessary if you want a great physique I feel like everything has its purpose and its usefulness uh, so that being said good workout all in all good pump I feel like if you're a pump chaser, then take a good, take some like glycerol, arginine, that sort of stuff, and then go and do this workout and it's a great pump. But as far as like strength and everything, I feel like strength was like, so strength was down, pump was up, workout, okay. Not not the best workout, not the worst workout, but I thought I'll, I'll go over it as you see the clip. So like this first clip here, me doing chest. Uh, I still want to start off with a press more than anything else. Uh, always got to get that press in. And instead of obviously doing what I would normally do, which is like a barbell bench press, I did the machine press and I did the neutral grip, which is which is where your hands are inside like this. And I did that first uh, just to work on density more because I'm more worried about density right now than size. I feel like my chest is built up to a decent size. So I'm worried about more like the hardness and density and thickness of it. Um, so yeah, I did that first and then I supersetted it basically how I did the next couple exercises, I, I did a superset, but it was on the same machine. So I did neutral grip and then I did the wider grip, as you see. And that was, everything was five sets of 15. So I did five sets of 15 neutral, five sets of 15 wide. Next, I did back. So I did that basically to stretch out the chest since we just worked the chest. Uh, I did neutral grip for that. So row, neutral grip, yeah. wide grip for that as well. 
Uh, and then I superset that again, five sets of 15. So really you can think of it five sets of 30 if you wanna think of that way as well. That actually probably was the best thing I did that entire workout. I felt that more than anything else. Then we went on to the fly and press on the cable machine. So I did five sets of 15 for each again. And that was, so your chest naturally, if you've taken anatomy, I don't know, you're, I'm gonna try and show this as best I can. I don't know if it'll come through well, but we'll see. So your chest, basically what it does is it raises your arm, it supinates your grip, and then it brings your grip in. Those are three things, three motions that your chest is, your fibers in your chest, your bands in your chest that float down that I've talked about before. Those are, that's what it's good with. So when I do flies, what I like to do is supinate my grip and bring it in like pinkies in. That's why you'll see a lot of videos and people are like, oh, try and touch your pinkies and stuff like that, or try and touch your elbows. Those are two big tips. So that's what I always think of. I supinate your grip and just try and touch it in. And then you'll, you'll feel it too. Like if you do this with your chest and then you supinate your grip like that and then do this, you'll feel the peak a lot more. So I did that for the cable flies and then for the chest press, it was just normal press. Plain and simple, nothing fancy. It was just a just a press, and so to me at this point, I've done six exercises. So I did one more back exercise to kind of finish it all off, and that was just a wide cable fly or cable cable fly, a uh, wide cable pull down, lat pull down, and that was. I think to finish it, I did a little bit heavier weight, and I did four sets of I did ten. 886 I think with that one and the, what I didn't record was my finisher my finisher was just simply push-ups with the cable row with the it was like instead of the cable row coming from above it was like at this angle so it was like high row basically and pulled down so I did like yeah so it was like this so I did a high row and push-ups to end it all which was good felt good once again a good pump decent workout all in all wasn't great so old school and new school you need the balance I think in my opinion you can't just do one or the other. I ran into a friend of mine, Nick, who I'm hoping is watching this right now. Yeah. Okay. But he he kind of explained it to you in a way of like, it's good to do the machines and everything. All those are good if you're working out with somebody who's newer or somebody that's a lot weaker than you because it's easier to change a pin on a bench when you're using a machine for a bench instead of having to take off a 45 and put on a 15 or something like that or put on a 15 put on a 10 and a 5 or whatever you're going to do there it ha once it has all all of it has its usefulness but that's my video that ends the workout it might be a little bit on the shorter side for the actual workout footage but it's all fun fun and games video coming out friday have no clue what i'm gonna do for it but it's coming at you